Hi friends, in my previous episode, I have covered DevOps day-to-day -day activities and I'm going to cover now the overall activities. There are few similarities between day-to-day -day activities and overall activities, but day-to-day -day activities cover your regular activities you perform on the regular basis, sometimes weekly or daily kind of activities, whereas overall activities or one-time setups or the regular improvements you may need to make in, in the processes or CICD pipelines or even the configurations what you need to make. However, as I mentioned in my earlier video, these are the few activities which are being performed by the DevOps but don't confine to the same list. But more or less you can see 80% to 90% match of any DevOps perform in the day-to-day -day or the overall activities. Let us get into our today's topic. So main is all the environments of production, stage, dev, QA, hotfixes. What are the different environments which are need to be configured or already configured need to be managed by the DevOps? So for every program or a project, there are different set of environments usually those all need to be configured and managed by the DevOps. This is a, one of the overall activity. Identifying recurring problems and provide solutions. So even uh, in the root cause analysis, I mentioned about this. So you, this DevOps has to identify what are the recurring problems and need to fix that problem with a single solution and make sure that it is not being repeated. For an instance, Assume that there are um, unexpected uh, restarts on your server or the server is getting stopped but we don't know when it happens or how it happens but at, the, at least uh, as a solution the DevOps can configure auto healing option on the particular instance or the particular resource that's how they can fix a problem and they, he can also report back to the development team about these frequent uh, failures. So this is just one instance. There are plenty of other instances occur in a different uh, pattern. So that has to be analyzed and make sure that it is not being repeated. Coming to the setup and improvements uh, on monitoring. So one is setup. So the complete setup has to be done by the DevOps and the improvements required on monitoring for an instance assume that there was a system failure because of the cpu consumption of 100 percent or memory consumption of 100 percent but no one was notified and uh, until the team has realized the problem was persist so in this kind of instances the improvement area can be the alert mechanism or a notification mechanism so the DevOps can configure the alerts required to alert the respective stakeholders who can take the necessary action whenever this kind of incident occurs. So they can simply configure when the CPU consumption above 80% that alert has to be given to the respective people. That is one of the uh, instance or the example you can take off. There, there are plenty of uh, other examples I can give, but uh, time is not sufficient for these videos. So the other uh, area is a branching strategy. This is one of the important area for the DevOps. So this is all about uh, how the code should flow from one place to the other place or one particular source to the other source. Uh, for an example, you can take um, having the master branch and uh, there will be a feature branches like number of teams working on the different different features and then also they can have a hotfix branch in case if there is any fix made on the attack basis uh, then it can be a release branch and subsequently you can have multiple branches based on what the requirement is how big your program is all about right so just think about it like how that code repos can be managed or the branches can be managed well for your requirement that need to be defined uh, under the branching strategy coming to the deployment uh, strategy there are uh, plenty of uh, ways that 
the application can be deployed like blue green is one of the example and widely used uh, strategy for the deployment so the devops guy should even aware those deployment strategies uh, based on what they need next one is setting up ci cd pipelines this is most and widely commonly used or performed task by the devops so every devops guy should aware how the ci cd pipeline need to be configured or set up on the respective uh, platforms the next one is automation so devops is also responsible for the automation one area is um, how you automate the release processes the other side uh, how do we even configure the automation testing so that you know the release process will be the same will be seamless even from the qa or pre prod to the uh, production it will it should be seamless so that's where the automation will play a key role but the other automation process as part of the devops is that every infrastructure change should be done by your code and uh, the less involvement or less manual process is more a uh, value you will add into your devops project that means you know every aspect every possible aspect should be done via automation then coming to the drive production moment related calls so there are any issues in the production or you know you are moving the code to the production all those related calls should be made or dr driven by the devops guy one more thing here there are different type of setups uh, in the various organizations like say uh, in one organization the whole staging and production environments are uh, also managed by the same organ uh, same company by by their own but in few organizations they outsource uh, staging and production only the uh, dev qa type of environments are managed by their internal uh, devops guy but in that particular instances uh they have to actually drive the uh, outsourced uh, company uh, whoever is managing their production staging and environments they have to drive them as well so they will become simply a bridge between the parent company and the outsourced company uh, employees or the team so there are different type of working environments it's not like always that you only manage all the production and staging and environments but there could be instances that you know the other outsource companies will manage them but you will actually guide them or drive them but internal environments will be managed by you so or vice versa so the other important area is the documentation so even devops should maintain uh, all the documentation uh, on the changes what are being made how the process was set up or configured everything need to be documented and they need to be well prepared for any type of questions further Uh, your documentation is the evidence for that so bridge between your os and internal support teams so as i mentioned that uh, uh, even uh, so sometimes you know the support is uh, given to the out, uh, outside company that means uh, outsourced to the other company then in that case you should be a bridge between that outsourced company versus the internal support teams so you have to this is another type of role what you have to play based on the type of company you are working in so in my next uh, upcoming videos i will cover each of this box with few examples like branching strategy what are the different branching strategies what are the deployment uh, strategies we have uh, at the same time i'll also cover different tools on azure and uh, aws thanks for watching my videos